Hey guys, it's Skulk3 and welcome to the final part of Let's Play LeChuck's Revenge! In the last part, LeChuck is our brother! And in this part, we kill our brother! Now he's using a voodoo doll to attack us, so we're gonna have to fight fire with voodoo doll. Holy cow, these are my parents! Dad. It's my dad. That wouldn't be polite. Hmm, this looks loose. Yeah, it's not polite to use your dad's bones, but it's polite just to take off his head. So yes, we because he's our brother, that means that we have now got a we have now got something of the dead. Which obviously is what you need for a voodoo recipe. Now we just need something of the body, something of the thread, and something of the head. And we'll get all of those. Uh this was originally gonna be two parts. Um but basically after the editing, because in the first part I got severely lost and forgot an entire item that I need to get, which I can tell you about now. Now open three of these boxes in one of them as you shall see in a second there's loads of root beer um actually do you even need root beer <laughs> i don't know if you need it um you get a voodoo doll which you definitely need but there's also a balloon in one of the ones i didn't open um i think well actually i forgot about it anyways but i was also distracted a bit by being zapped into an alternate alternate room very forcefully <clears throat> sorry my throat still hasn't cleared up entirely um, so yeah, this is when it had all been edited and cut down and everything, um, it only lasted for seven minutes, and the second one was like ten minutes or so, so I thought, eh, let's just have a fairly long part as opposed to two fairly short ones. Um, so, what do you want to do for this? Use the coin return on the coke machine. Hey, you're Susan B. Anthony! And you want to pick up his underwear. Yep, the guy brushed his face says it all. There's, there's nothing to disturb you like picking up a dead pirate zombie guy's underwear. It looks like it's been here a long time. Just thought I'd mention while you're trying to zap me. Gah, the pain. Oh, that doesn't look pleasant. Quick, open that box. Ah, no. How, how did he get here faster than we did? Well, just a little bit slower than we did. But, you know, pretty, pretty dang fast still since it's like the other end of the area. Um, so yes, you want to use your surgical gloves with a helium tank. <laughs> he looks so shifty when he does that. If you use it, you get an achievement if you're using the special edition. Well, I'd rather be a pirate on scab than a scab on a pirate. Brumpt. Yeah, so you need to inflate both surgical gloves for use of hilarious pranks or possibly to, you know, save your life. I, I find that I always, I always carry around two inflated surgical gloves. Surgical gloves, just in case, you know. Um, so in here we have an elevator. If you look at the plaque, service elevator, £1,000 limit. Let's use the call button. Now here comes the first cut. Because I stood around in there for like two minutes. Uh, thinking I needed to do something, but even then I can't do it yet. Um, but yes, so if you go into the room to the left here, you can collect a big whoop. Let's see, what, hang on. That's it ticket it says e on it oh what big whoop was a ticket with the letter e on it that's a load of bollocks anyways again i use the elevator and it is that point that i decide to cut because it's completely irrelevant oh there's the chuck how you doing buddy uh let's bury the hatchet so yes in here if you look at the box which i don't think i do here uh, it says 900 pounds, so yeah, we need to get lighter than 100 pounds. And there's no drop function, so we can't drop the stuff in our bag. So, while we're here, let's let's make our voodoo doll, shall we? Well, that's one ingredient. You use the ingredients with the juju bag to, well, you know, so you can do the thing that the voodoo lady did and shake it all up crazy, like... It's two ingredients in the doll, so now we only need something of the head and something of the body, and that was a very weird cut. Hey, there's only one balloon in here, so take the balloon with you. That is what you need to collect from the other box. You need another thing to inflate, otherwise you're not light enough still to use the envelope. The envelope? What? The elevator slash lift, whatever you want to call it these days. Um, so yes, inflate the balloon, and all is well and hunky-dory. Uh, while we're here, we'll also get the thing for the body. You need to have the clean white hanky with you ready. And now we just wait around for the chuck. You can take the coin so that your money becomes uh, however many pieces of age you have and a nickel. I think it is. 
and then a dime. I'm very sorry. I'm rich! You are indeed, Guybrush. So, just wait around for the chuck a bit. Any day now. Come on, Chuck. You know you want to turn. There you are! Aha! Caught you! That's why he gives you time to do stuff. Here, try this. Um. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, uh. That's not what you want to see. Now, isn't that better? Uh, uh, ah, yeah. Oh, Guybrush. You so crazy being zapped to death repeatedly. So now we've got the youth tanky. Put that in the juju bag as well. <laughs> Chuck, go away! Do I have to file a restraining order on you? A doll, some underwear, a bone, a used hanky. Okay, um, let's let bygones be bygones. Or something, I think he said. You can skip the things by pressing backspace. Now this is really annoying, we only need to go into the elevator, and of course LeChuck turns up again. And I can't just subtly sneak into the elevator while he's there, so... Jump cut! Hey Guybrush! It's Voodoo Ta- Ow! Hey! And that's how you get the bit of hair. Because, you know, that makes sense. Um, when you have the inflated surgical gloves and balloon, then he'll turn up pretty quickly. But if you don't, then he takes forever to turn up and, you know. Because it won't work, really. Um, so we have now got our voodoo doll. It's positively pulsing with voodoo energy. Uh, going onwards, this is hauntingly familiar. You gotta love references to the older games. We'll get that. I think we'll get a few more of those in uh, 3 and... F well, I'm not sure, actually, if it's in 4. Um, but there's definitely a reference or two in 3. And that's always fun. Well, obviously, there's referential jokes made, but not necessarily in terms of backgrounds. Uh, so, I stand around for quite a while here, because this is where I was going to do my outro, saying, So, guys, in the next part, we are going to kick LeChuck's butt, but obviously, because I decided to put it into two parts, no, not into two parts, it's already in two parts, put it into one part, that becomes irrelevant. Which is why there'll also be even more waiting around, because I'll have been doing an intro. I, I didn't think this through much in editing, but, you know, and so there was the transition. Uh, we are now in the second part. And let's use this lever to get out, hopefully. Nope, okay. And get everything all sticky. I I don't actually think there's any need to get the root beer. I wonder why they put it in. And the ticket, for that matter. I don't think that does anything at all. Um, so, you just gotta wait around for the chuck to turn up. I don't think the chuck's close enough for it to do anything. Speak of the devil. Hey, Guybrush! It's voodoo time! That's pretty good, Guybrush. But not good enough to stop me. <laughs> Here I thought I'd done something wrong, so I tried using the root beer on the hypodermic syringe, but no! You... you already tried that. Anyways. Eh? Oh, it's you. What, that again? Oh, look at me quaking in me booties. I laugh at you and your poon puny, puny voodoo tinkerings. Ha! I'm gonna kick your butt, what do you think about that? You know, this doll reminds me of the stretchy muscle man I had as a kid. <coughs> You'll have to do better than that. Come on! I'm gonna kick your butt, what do you think about that? Hmm. I wonder what would happen if I tore the leg off this thing. Dark Guybrush! Oh. Oh, that's, that's graphic. <coughs> Oh boy, that's not what, dog? Why, where? Why are you here, dog? Give that arm back, Guybrush. <coughs> what? Go over here. No way, I'm not that stupid. But I want you to <coughs> take, take my mask off. <coughs> I see the true face of your brother. Hmm. How shall we respond? No chance, he'll just rip off my lungs when I get close. No, no, I promise. Please come take off the... <coughs> the mask. Leg or no leg, I trust you about as far as I can throw Manhattan. I tell you, I'm... <coughs> dying here. Take the mask off. Forget it, I'm not coming over there. But you've got to see... <coughs> My true face! 
Looks like we don't have a choice here, guys. All right, I'm coming over. Tear up my lungs! No, we didn't. Gently it out. Remove my... <coughs> ...ask. Good God, a human face! Now that's just not expected. My God, you're... My creepy brother, Chucky! What did you think I was kidding before? Hmm. Why have you been chasing me all over the place? My mother told me to hunt you down. <laughs> when our mother told you to hunt me down, did she actually mention killing me, or was that your idea? Look, Guybrush, could you help me out? Stick the leg back on the doll, okay? <laughs> Will you promise to stop locking me in your footlocker? All right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. What? What? Ah, so there you are. Um, what? What's going on? We're scolding you for running off. Your mother and I were very concerned. Thank you for hunting down your brother like we asked, Chucky dear. You boys didn't get in any trouble now, did you? Hmm. No, sir. Good. I wish you wouldn't run, run off like that, young man. We were worried sick. You don't know what kinds of murderers and ne'er-do-wells might be hanging around a place like this. Hmm. Tempting argument. This is weird. What's going on here? Well, oh, come on then. Let's go ride the madly rotating buccaneer. Yeah! What? Does that mean our entire life was a lie? That is the end of Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge. Freaking weird ending, guys, but additional art by these people. Lettering art. Hang on, there's just a good joke coming up here. Proof raiding. <laughs> nice subtle joke there. Proof raiding. Anyways, yes. Oh, balls. Ah, no, I ruined it. Sorry. I, I lost my place. Um. I don't know, I think I was probably around here. <laughs> well, you know, this makes some interesting comedy commentary. Um, yeah. I wonder what's keeping Guybrush. I hope Chuck hasn't cast some horrible spell over him or something or anything. <clears throat> Let's see how close I was to getting that at the right time. I expect not that close at all, but you know, I don't really want to record the last 13 or so minutes again. So yes, this is the end of the storyline of Let's Play Chuck's Revenge. However, I am going to do two bonus videos. Um, <clears throat> someone I can't entirely remember who I'll. Put a name in the annotation. Bleh. Put the name in an annotation, or possibly with a random little subtitle here. Um, but yeah, I'll put their name. Someone told me there is a way to get. Um, there is a way to get. What's his name? Herman Toothrot's uh, Zen Cone correct. Um, and I've I've already recorded that, so I'm gonna do that later at some point. Seagull appears courtesy of Loom TM. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna do a video on that as well as show the. Um, the headphones connected to the rib bone thing in the special edition version with the voices, because it, trust me, it, you have to see what it's like. Oh boy. Anyways, um, so I'm not going to bother doing commentary for the rest of this video, because it's just going to be me reading out the things that appear on the screen for the next three minutes. Um, so basically, yeah, and the other video is I'm going to show off the easy mode of LeChuck's Revenge, which was only in the original. Assuming I can find my original copy of LeChuck's Revenge. Because it doesn't have an easy version on the special edition, so I'm going to have to go and find the easy version. I'm going to have to find my original version. Um, but, so yeah, it'll either be one bonus video or two. And you will see that in the future. 
And then I'm going to be starting a new LP, which I don't even know what it is yet. I'm not taking suggestions. I will just look through what I have in my games collection. Um, so yes, I'm going to end the commentary here and let you just see to the end of all the suggestions they give. Uh, thank you very much for watching this project, guys. It's been the Skulker 3, and I will see you in the next part for bonus video shenanigans. I will see you then, guys. Goodbye.